Hey everybody, welcome back to the Tech Agitator channel. I appreciate you tuning in. Today, I want to talk to you about this super cool platform. I am going to show you how to take your existing content and repurpose it for your social media platforms. And it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be seamless, and you'll see how you can get the most out of the content you've already provided. So. Today, I want to walk you through video.ai. If you haven't heard of it, it is a pretty powerful platform that uses AI to help you as a content creator repurpose your long form videos into shorter, more engaging clips for different social media platforms. So you will be able to upload your long form video and the AI automatically analyzes it to identify key moments and edit them into short clips, which again are suitable for YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, TikTok, and more. And I don't know if you've heard of it before, but if you're familiar with Think Media, they are a YouTube channel with more than 2.73 million subscribers. This is a platform that they use quite often to repurpose their content to get it out to all of their social media platforms. If you're familiar with Jack Tor, he is a YouTuber with 5.5 million prescribers. He uses this platform too to repurpose his videos and get content out there, ultimately driving more traffic to his YouTube channel and to his brand. So today, people, if you haven't heard about video.ai, it's time that you have, and we are going to get into it right now. All right, so here we are on the inside of the user interface of the video.ai portal. And it's pretty straightforward, people. As you can see here, you can create videos for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn. And we will start by uploading a file. And you can upload files, of course, from your computer, from Dropbox. You can enter a link. Um, and these are the formats here that you can, that it'll accept up to five gigabytes for free and 15 gigabytes for pro members. What I'm going to do here is to just paste a link from one of my existing videos out that are already out there on YouTube and get that imported. So once you do that, it'll ask you what format videos do you want? You can select multiple options. You do a square, portrait, landscape. Of course, you know the various use cases for these, and I love the fact that they tell you here for squares. Squares are best for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, portrait, TikTok, Instagram, and over here, landscape, YouTube. So those are the formats that you can choose from. And for this video, I believe I'm just going to do portrait and landscape let's say i just wanted to break this up for a youtube video or something like that and then at this point we'll get an opportunity to select other templates that we want i think this is a really cool feature they recommend that you select at least three of each type so right now we're in portrait mode and if you see here these are background templates that they'll put in for you as, as well as you get to select the type of uh, sub captions, you get to see here which sub captions you want to show up. So if we just kind of scroll through here and let's, I'll choose this one with the green and red and kind of like that font and that font color too. So I'll choose that one. And let's see what else we have here. Yeah, these are pretty, pretty cool options. And if you want some, excuse me, other colors down here, and we'll go with that one. Hit continue. I think it's going to, yeah. So we selected our three for portrait. And now it's going to ask us to do landscape. And again, these are the different templates that you can choose from. And I actually like this little kind of split color template here. And you have the option of choosing half screen. 
another template here and this one looks pretty cool as well i think this one looks pretty nice and uh yeah let's go with this as a third option all right uh, i think we can only choose two here so we'll go with this one. all right there's the third one okay good so we have these templates selected and we're just going to hit continue and here you can personalize the videos. Of course, this is optional. You can add your social media accounts to personalize, personalize your videos. So it'll put your handle at the bottom of your video if, as you see it here. So if you enter your handles, they'll show up there, which is a nice feature. We'll click done. And at this point, it's processing the video. Um, it can take up to 30% of the time of your video's length. So this particular video I put in was about 30 minutes and it'll probably take 10 or 15 minutes or so to get them finished. And you can click to save your preferences for all future videos. If you like those templates that we just selected, then that'll be an option for you to choose those for all of your videos going forward. So at this point, we'll go back into the dashboard one other thing I wanted to mention is they'll send you an email once your uh, video is finished being clipped and downloaded. And that means you don't have to sit and wait on the platform to get finished with it. You can go off and be productive doing other things and just wait for the email to show up. All right, great. And just like that, this video is ready. It literally took people about two minutes. I did time it with my little stopwatch app on my phone and it was less than two minutes. So you see here, the video is done. And at this point we can review the clips. So let's take a look at what video.ai has done for us here. All right, they generated six chapters and 11 shorts from this video. And again, like I said, this was a 30 minute video. So to get 11 shorts from that was is pretty cool. So let's take a look at them. And like I mentioned, this is a video that I recently posted. I just decided since it was one of the longer videos that I had to use video.ai to chop that one up. Again, six chapters, 11 shorts, and the shorts are small snippets up to a minute in length. And they'll, and if you look on this list here, like for right now I have shorts highlighted, I can go to chapters and look at what chapters it came up with. And you can click into those chapters and edit and download the video for each of those. But we'll go to, and of course you can look at the entire video here. And if you go to shorts though, I think we'll check out a couple of these or maybe one or two of these and see how they, how they look. But one thing I wanted to point out here is once you've selected which of these I, um, areas you want to go into, you can also look at it in the different sizes. So you could click on square, get that. Of course, this was a reel. This is a portrait split. And this is the full landscape view. Um, and that will be the format of your shorts, shorts uh, whichever the, uh, one of those you want to choose. So I'm just going to select this first clip here. And let's just check it out and see how video.ai did after months of trying that's the first site where i actually was able to make money in affiliate marketing today i want to tell you about how to set up a nice ai landing page in minutes so that you can start driving traffic to your offers in almost no time seriously you've got to stick around if you want to see this nice i think that did pretty good so that's just to give you an idea of the types of snippets you can get. Of course, you can edit and download. And I will say here, when you look at this AI generated um, sub caption, you'll probably have to do some editing on that because it says, see this dance about. And of course, I didn't say anything about dancing here, but you can click into the editor and it'll give you options to edit this particular clip. All right, so this is inside of the editor of that particular short that I chose. And if you look down here, we can shorten this video. Let's see, I just wanted to take it down a few seconds and do that. 
by highlighting on the end here and just bringing that down. And if you're familiar with video editing in the least, this is probably going to be pretty st straightforward. So I won't bore you guys with all of that. But at that point, you can save this as a template. Of course, you can go in here again and change whether you want to do lands landscape, square portrait, etc. And you can also download this video, of course. And that's pretty much it, people. I mean, you can come in as many clips as it generates. You can alter those clips. You can add your own subtitles to those and, and, and customize that however you want to. And um, you'll be able to send these out to your social media platforms however you choose. The thing I do want to point out here, if you look over here on the right panel, you can choose the different previews. So there's like a TikTok preview that once you click on it, it'll show you what is going to be seen in that TikTok view. So you can move that around and get the image aligned how you want it to for TikTok. Uh, real, this is going to generate a Reels preview. And again, this white area is just showing you what is actually going to be seen in that reel. So you can adjust that around. And the shorts preview here does the same thing. Pretty cool feature, and it shows you just how it'll, it'll show up on someone's device. So that's pretty cool, too. And super importantly, I don't see how I forgot this, there are other menu options over here on the left. You can use Cut Magic. Cut Magic works best for clips under three minutes. Subtitles, this is where you edit your subtitles and customize those however you want to. Elements, logos, outros. You can upload your brand kits, your logos, and that sort of that sort of stuff to really customize is how you want to. So that's pretty cool. The media would just be images and things that you've already uploaded. You can get things off of pixels, um, such as images, videos, audio. So you can really customize this however you want to. The options here people seem pretty expensive. Here's your text editor. You can edit your background and you can upload images in order for you to customize that however you want. And AI description. So you can have AI generate a description for that clip for you. So that does appear to be a pro feature. So um, you want to keep that in mind. But I think this is a pretty expensive platform, guys. I see why people are so happy with it. I'm definitely happy with it from the things that I've been able to do with it. I definitely encourage you to check this out. And that's it, guys. Um, like I said, I do know that there is a free option. I think the, you get the first 75 minutes worth of video free. And then, of course, they have a couple of paid options beyond that. So, of course, there will be a link, a link in the description of this video for you to check out video.ai, play around with it, see what you can create and come up with. Thanks for tuning in to this video. I hope you found this overview to be helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.